Hi my gorgeous darlings. I rarely ever film from this angle in my room. But here I am. I'm just sitting at this angle because this is how I sit on my bed to do my studying revision and I have like my bed desk kind of pushed up against the pillows against my headboard and I'm just gonna show you what's in my backpack. So I have a backpack even though I'm not physically attending lectures. I still study online and I go to the cafe and I take all my shit with me in this backpack. This is probably one of my favorite, my most favorite backpacks that I've ever owned and I got it for free as a collaboration from that company on Amazon. If you guys wanna see like a really detailed one minute review, I will link it in the description box below. But I just love this backpack. It's so feminine and classy, elegant. It's it's everything I want. And it's got a USB charging port, which is so cool. And we're just gonna get to this. But first, I wanna show you my new portable keyboard. I'm waiting for the case, which is the reason why I haven't put it in my backpack. But just to give you a scale of how small it is, this is my already small wireless keyboard. This is like a 75% keyboard and this is a 60% keyboard. And this is by far my favorite. This used to be my favorite keyboard, but it's very tinny and very clicky. It's got blue switches, but they are soldered to the motherboard. So I found out the hard way when I was trying to remove the switches the other day and nearly broke one. Thank God it's still functional and working. I literally ripped off a piece of plastic trying to pull it out. And then I Googled it and I'm like, oh my God, this keyboard is not hot swappable. C'est dommage, it's okay. I bought like a bunch of cute switches that had more of a thocky sound, uh, like linear switches. These are tactile switches. This also has blue switches, but because these are the more low profile keys look how low profile they are they resemble a membrane keyboard but they are mechanical they are similar to the gateron switches i'm not sure if this is hot swappable but it doesn't matter even though these are blue switches they're a lot quieter they're not as tinny and they've got rgb like a lot of cool kind of um settings you can change the color, you can change the different the different patterns and whatever. There's just so many customizable options on this keyboard. I'm just going to switch off. Hold on. So it's it's flashing right now because it's it's not connected to my laptop. But it's so light, it's got little feet, so it's really comfortable. And this is by far the most I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say it with my old keyboard. That used to be my favorite. It was never like completely 100% love for me. I did love it, but the sound was a little tinny for me, a little springy for me. And I know it's blue switches, but I like the clickiness, just not so much. This is kind of like, the sound is kind of like in between a membrane and a mechanical keyboard for me. Kind of like, it's tactile, but it's still quieter. I just really like the sound. It's really satisfying to type on this keyboard. And look at the colors, you guys. It's so adorable. $29. This isn't collaboration. I paid for this myself out of my own pocket. Although I hope they do find me and want to send me more keyboards. <laughs> they have a white one, which I wouldn't mind either. But this is absolutely my favorite wireless keyboard I've ever had. You can have an option to have it wired. 3000 mAh uh, battery so it lasts so long many many hours before you have to charge it and it's rose gold aluminum body to match my laptop and a lot of my other tech accessories I have rose gold everything really so I highly recommend this is a company called Riosfeed and I will link it below I will also link this one below if you guys are interested in a larger keyboard because for being a large basic keyboard, this is amazing as well. I've never had any issues with this. Performance wise, it's perfect. This has never given me any problems. And being reliable is a lot more important than anything else. But it's good to have two keyboards, one for at home and one for like travel because this is way too large to just carry with me anyway. Too large for the plane, train, cafe, whatever, it's so large. Um, so this is a 60% keyboard, so, so cute, just, just so cute. Okay, so let's get to my backpack. Okay, so let's get to this. 
So I'm going to start with the bottom compartment. It's actually a shoe compartment, but you can literally put anything in there. Just because they say it's a shoe compartment doesn't mean you can only use it as a shoe compartment. I use it as my large pencil case holder. This is actually originally like a cosmetics toiletry bag, but I love it for my large like kind of pencil case accessories pouch. As you can see, it also fits my iPad mini as well, which is really funny. So as you can see, it's got my actual pencil case in here with my pens and pencils. Actually, one pencil. I've got my tool, my favorite mechanical pencil. And then I've got my calculator from Amazon. And then I've got my J'adore Paris French stickers. And I've got some cue cards, like index cards to help me memorize, especially MCQ stuff. This is competition. This one is business. I got these from the dollar store. Just absolutely love them. And then I've got my notes, my sticky notepad from Ikea. They don't sell these anymore. I love stationery from Ikea. And this is also stickers from Ikea. And in this pocket, I've got my tech pouch, which I have a phone charging cable, my little microphone. I love this microphone, it's so cute. And just like, just plug and stuff like that. So you can charge your phone anywhere. And then I've got my USB dongle for my MacBook Air. It's the same color, it's a rose gold. Of course, it's got a match. And then in this little pocket here, I've got my little purse, my Louis Vuitton for Zali. And with the right angle, it can fit my phone as well. It's not that tiny, but it's not huge either. Then this front pocket, I have my makeup pouch. It's got all my makeup in there. Love it. It's really, really one of my favorite makeup pouches ever. And I've got in here, which I sometimes use as my pencil case. Right now I'm using it as my makeup brush case. Really, really great for that. And then I also have my Fashion Price wipes. These are my favorite baby wipes, especially when you're out in public and you want to be clean. You don't, you can't use water or anything when you're out. And these are 99% water, no fragrance. It's perfect. You can actually buy them at Dollar Tree. Love. Okay. And then in the back compartment, which is the padded laptop compartment, I have my MacBook Air M1. And then in the main compartment, all double zippers as well. And chrome zippers. I love them. Oh, oxidized chrome, like dark gray. Got my WH Smith A4 pad. I can't believe I bought this like almost three years ago when I was in England. And I, I use it really sparingly because I can't buy them here. But I just love the paper. I love stationery from England. They have just so much more, bigger selection. Then I've got my planner, which I haven't used yet. My new planner from Amazon. It's just beautiful. It's my favorite color, which is sky blue, like baby blue. And it's got these gorgeous gradient sticky note things. And then each of the organizing panels, like panel boards has like a beautiful picture of the sky in clouds. So I really love that. And then they've got like four different kinds of paper. They've got blank, they've got the calendar days where you can write them in yourself. They've got lined and then they've got graph. So this is my absolute favorite planner ever. And then, is that, is that all? Oh no. And then the back pocket, it's a really secure pocket. I have my iPad mini six and that's my or pencil alternative from Amazon. So, and this actually fits, as I said, in here. As you can see, it fits my iPad mini really perfectly. Like, 
Wow, it's like exactly the same size as the base. 